Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly oracle card reading. And today I am using a new deck of mine. It's called the Vibrational Energy Oracle Cards. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first card which represents Monday and Tuesday of this week. Okay, so we've got Skilled Craftsman. And I get two um, impressions with this card and the one, the first impression I get is that this week, the theme of the week is about learning some kind of skill. And I feel like this skill is going to be something that on one level it's practical but more than anything it's a very creative skill and it's something that's going to bring you a lot of pleasure and a lot of joy in the future. Um, so you might be learning some kind of artistic skill, like how to how to paint or how to sculpt or something like that, or it might be something um, not so much you know creative in that sense. Like it could be something to do with your job, but learning learning some kind of skill that's going to really help you a lot later on down the road. And the message I get with this is, um, don't get too focused on mastering the skill right away. Um, you know, enjoy the journey of learning. So don't get frustrated with yourself if you can't do it perfectly the first time or if you're, you know, really crappy at something that you're learning, <laughs> you know, give yourself permission to be crappy um, at, at whatever it is that you're learning. And just enjoy the process. So don't be too impatient with that. And the other message I get from this card is that um, with the hands holding on, to the, um, I want to call it an urn, not an urn, but like a the vase or the jug. Um, there's this sense of sort of cradling our dreams. And I think that's important because I think um, we all have sort of dreams and, and you know, things that are important to us and, and things that we're wanting to create and share with the world. And I think the more that we nurture those dreams in a way that's really gentle and loving, uh, the more likely our dreams are to take shape in a way that pleases us. Because um, I think a lot of times, you know, it can be tempting to, or not tempting, but I think, um, especially if you know your family and friends are somewhat pessimistic, it, it's sometimes hard to nurture your dreams. Like it, it might be, it might feel more natural or more easy for you to just sort of dismiss your dreams and um, not take them to heart and not take them seriously. And the message I get with this card is focus on really nurturing your dreams and being gentle with yourself and where you are right now on your life path. Okay, so the next card represents Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, this card is so beautiful. I love this card. Okay, so it says breathe deeply. And I love the light coming from the, the heart area. I think that really is a very compassionate card. It has a really nice compassionate calming energy. Okay, so the middle of the week, ah, we're going to have to remind ourselves to breathe. Um, and so I'm getting that there's going to be situations with other people either your family or, or friends or coworkers or whatever, or neighbors even, um, where, you know, aspects of their personality are going to get kind of irritating. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not everyone wants the same kinds of things. Not everyone has the same values. And certainly, you know, not everyone has the same perspective or style of communicating. And sometimes that can get kind of frustrating. And so the reminder here is just to remember to breathe deeply and remember to um, you know stop if you're if you're starting to feel kind of flustered or frustrated stop in the middle of things take a few deep breaths and that can really bring you into your body it can bring you into the present moment and it connects you with your spirit so it makes you uh, it, it makes you more connected to your higher self so the part of yourself that's you know more wise and and has a, a larger perspective because it's easy to get wrapped up in little dramas and and when there's you know hiccups in our daily life it's, it's easy to get wrapped up in it and get all flustered and the reminder here is to just breathe and so some of us might be experiencing you know minor frustrations this week with other people um, 
but I also think a lot of us, those of us who aren't going to be experiencing anything like that, um, this week is a nice opportunity to just chill out, you know, meditate and do things that enhance that feeling of spiritual connection. So whatever that looks like for you. For me, it's doing a lot of meditation, a lot of breathing exercises, painting, uh, yoga, getting outside, going to the beach, stuff like that. So whatever that looks like for you. Um, yeah, but, uh, but again, I, I feel like this is to do with the power of the breath as well. So, um, you know, the power that the breath has to calm us down and center us. Okay, so the last card. This card represents the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm just going to move over a little bit here. And it says, hopeless release. And I feel this card is about letting go of what I would call loser thinking. So um, whenever you have like loser thoughts where you feel hopeless about something and you, I mean, it's easy to engage those thoughts, right? So it's easy when you have a loser thought like, oh, nothing ever works out for me. This will never work. I can never do this. It's so hard. Um, you know, whenever you have thoughts like that, it can be easy to really indulge them and go into it and start, you know, weaving a story out of that thought and um, finding support for that thought in various, you know, areas of your life. And this weekend, you've got the opportunity to really let go of that loser thinking. And I feel like what's going to happen for a lot of us is all of a sudden one day you're going to notice yourself, well I say all of a sudden one day, <laughs> all of a sudden this weekend, <laughs> you're going to notice yourself in a loser thought. You're going to notice that loser thought and you're going to be like, wait a minute. And all of a sudden thinking that thought won't have the energetic charge that it used to hold for you. So you don't really see any point in thinking that thought. It just won't feel true to you anymore. In fact, thinking that thought is going to require a lot of effort and you're going to have to really sort of dupe yourself into thinking it. It's just not going to have that, it's just not going to feel true for you and you're not going to want to think, think it anymore. So this is about letting go of that way of thinking. So letting go of any hopeless attitudes, any hopeless thoughts, and just releasing that. And I think on a bigger scale, this card is also about releasing other aspects of our life that just don't really feel true for us anymore. And I have a feeling that a lot of people listening to this, there's probably a lot of you that there's certain parts of your life that just no longer feel like they reflect you. It could be um, a friend or someone that you used to hang out with a lot, it could be your work, uh, it could be where you live, or a hobby that you've just kind of outgrown, or a group of people, like a community that you used to really engage with and now you just aren't feeling it. But, um, but whatever it is, I think the trick is not to feel a sense of guilt over it. I think a lot of us kind of beat ourselves up and, and wish that we still found joy in the same hobbies or the same people that we did or the same work. And in reality, we just don't. And I think the trick here is to just be mature about it and, and be willing to let go of what no longer feels authentic and good for us and, and to move on to the things that do without trying to hold ourselves back or make ourselves feel bad for needing to make those changes. Okay, so that has been your weekly oracle card reading. And my name is Kate and you can, um, if you're interested in learning tarot and oracle card reading, you can check out my site, dailytarotgirl.com. I've got lots of videos and articles and fun stuff um, on there for you to try out. But thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.